Hello lovelies, you're welcome to a brand new show. Arrow to the H to the Y to the M to the O, the Rhymo Show. We bring you the best news, best entertainment and lifestyle information all on your social media platforms. But before we proceed, please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go right now, Uburu TV on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, like our page and follow our Instagram account. On this show, The Rhymo Show, we bring you exciting and interesting interviews with celebrities, politicians and lots and lots of businesses from around the world. I'll be having a close interaction with one young man, he's from Uburu and uh, one reason why I'm having this interaction with him is because he has decided to become a pest setter. Actually, on my way to Uburu, I decided to pick a bike. Then I saw something beautiful about Abakaliki. Abakaliki is the capital of Ebony State. For those of you who don't know much about this part of Nigeria, this is a bit of Abakaliki. I'm going to play it to you right now. Where you can come and have a good time with your family and friends. And very close to Fatilami is um, International Conference Centre. Okay, that's the premises. And this we have Ebony Amusement Park. Okay, you've seen Ebony stay within one minute. Well, this is just an introduction. There is more I have to show you. Well, our traffic light is not working. They have to fix it. We have good police officers here, and you have to see we have some nice and wonderful waterfall during the day, even in the evening at night. When you come here, it's so and so amazing. Yes, and you can see this is um, the state police headquarters. Um, this is where it is located in Abony State, and just directly opposite it is the old government house. So, there is a lot about Ebony State that you need to discover. There is a lot about Ebony State that you haven't heard about. Come to Ebony State. This is Ebony State. Businesses are booming. It's a place to be. It's a very peaceful place. I actually had a very close interaction with him. When we met, I had to ask him a few questions. So, listen to him yourself. Um, all right, uh, thank you for being here and thank you for having me. First of all, speaking about uh, the motivation towards uh, establishing this business, um, it has been an age long uh, inspiration. Even far back while I was uh, in the university, I had this uh, inspiration that, yes, though here is still a developing area that the business will be hard to drive or succeed. But then I feel that coming to bring this to the people would be a kind of a good innovation or something good to do. You know, um, checking the whole zone, ranging from the old Omozara, it is hard for you to find something like this. And that is why I felt like, okay, why not try this out to see if the people um, will like what they see. Of course, I know that whenever they travel out to um, the developed area, they always enjoy this pleasure. So the inspiration lies on bringing down the pleasure they get at the city to them here in the village. Oh, that's very, very inspiring. How long has it been since you opened this business? All right, um, today we'll be making it uh, exactly two weeks. We well, started on the 3rd of November, which is a Wednesday, and today is a Wednesday. So it, today is making it exactly two weeks that we started. Okay, two weeks in the business must have given you an idea of the future of the business. Can you tell us how has it been these two weeks? Um, of course, uh, being frank, uh, it's not been easy, but I feel there is grace in it. It's going to thrive by the experiences that we've gathered uh, within these two weeks. It's going to like thrive, though it's very, very difficult um, considering the fact that um, 
we are lacking power. Do you understand? You know, everything and business like this that needs power and there's no power you have, you have to generate your own power. And that is where we are having a kind of problem, making it more like the profits you make you easy to generate your power. So it's not been easy, but considering the way it's going, I am very confident and positive that it's going to try. Well, thank you very much. So, what do you have to tell a lot of Ugurians in the diaspora? Most of them, they see Uburu to be a village. Most of them haven't been to Uburu for over a decade, two decades. So, having this place, they have this kind of place in America, in the UK, in Ghana, in other countries, in Lagos, Abuja. So, what do you have to tell them about Uburu right now? All right, um, consulting the environment now, I feel strongly that Udo is no longer what it used to be. Of course, there has never been a time from my own belief that Udo is seen as a village. It has always been developed. It's just that our people are a kind of going away from the environment. No one wants to invest here. But I believe that most of our brothers and sisters out there that have their strong businesses can establish a presence here. And by that, you see that the Udo that they see Today, as village will no longer be village. Ubu, I repeat, is not a village. It's, it's, it's been developed for over a long time. It's just that the business presence that is not domiciled here is making it look like, you know, just for instance, most of the, our people outside here do building material businesses, but find it difficult to establish one here such that whenever we need something for building, we have to go to our nearby communities to get it. Which is wrong. We have our people that are capable and they have strong business. Let them bring down their presence here. Thereby making Uburu the developed area of their dream. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We all heard from the horses' own smells. It hasn't been easy trying to start up a business a young man who has all it takes, especially the ideas and a little finance. That is just a few things that you will need to start up a business. First of all, you must have the idea. You must be very clear about the kind of business that you want to start. Then you should possibly raise some money. You can raise this money through working for someone. You save the monthly salary bit by bit until it's enough to cater for your uh, project. And apart from it, you can equally start with something small, your own business, with any money you can raise. Well, it depends on your dream. Well, this guy has a big dream, and like you heard, he didn't start dreaming about it today. It took him a lot of years. He said he nurtured it for years, and now, it has become a reality. So first of all, you must dream about something. And uh, dreaming about it does not mean you have to go to sleep and then you dream about something. That's different, okay? When we talk about dream, in reality, dream means your plans, all right? If you don't have a plan on what you're gonna do, how are you gonna do that thing? So, it all boils down to the fact that first of all, you must have a dream. I don't know what you dream about. If you want to be the best, you must do the right thing. And um, on Rymo show, we promote positivity. We promote creativity. We promote passion. We promote anything that promotes good personality, especially humanitarian activities. So... I believe this our guest actually spoke not just about himself, but also you've got something to learn from him. So this is where we bring um, to this show to a pause. Then we go on a commercial break. So when we come back, we have more exciting stuff for you. Please don't go anywhere. And hey, I don't know whether you've subscribed. <laughs> but if you haven't subscribed, it's very easy. Just on this YouTube channel you're watching, just look down. Yeah, that is the subscribe button. Just click on it and you are in. Whatever we post, 
you're going to see it. You're going to be among the first person. Well, don't forget, the bell is at the down. Just, you heard a sound. You are now a full member. Free of charge, we deliver our content directly from our studio. So as you can see, whenever you are in Uburu and you are thinking of where to go and hang out with your family or friends, just think Bob Mia restaurant. Bob Mia restaurant is on your way to Ekaja in Uburu, just after Ishike. Yes. So you don't need to worry about Chicken Republic, Crunchies, Mr. Biggs, and the rest of them when you are in Uburu. We've brought this kind of business set in Uburu uh, by a young guy, as you already know. Well, in case you want to book ahead of time, if you're coming to Uburu, your birthday party, uh, just call this number, just call this number and book so that this guy can prepare something delicious for you. You are welcome back. You're welcome back. Thank you for still being here. Well, um, still in Uburu, I discovered something. Well, it's not something very serious, but it's a little detail. You know, um, paying attention to little details actually give you the best. Uburu is being projected as a, a fast developing town in the state. Well, for those of you who don't know much about Uburu, at least you know about His Excellency, the Governor of Ebony State, Engineer David Umahi. Um, he is from Uburu, that is uh, his birthplace. And uh, when you come to Uburu, there is um, this Wanye uh, Unu. Am I right? A purity? Okay, alright. So, Wanyunu means like the woman who carries the salt. Well, Uburu, uh, well, we have this history of uh, salt, natural salt from the ground. It comes just like that, like water is fetching. And uh, you distill it and you get salt from it. It's been done the local way. And there are few interventions. Uh, been made by uh, the top organizations and top government to see if they can extract something uh, from it or maybe industrialize it. Uh, I think that's the end of the process. We still want to see uh, how far that can go. Uh, so I discovered something about this woman that they call Wainunu. Well, if you're in Uburu, I think this is not news to you because you see this every time when you go to, uh, what's the name of the place? Aviovuru, right? Good. Aviovuru, Aviovuru means new market. New market in Uburu. This woman, this woman's one of her hand has been amputated. Okay? Well, it's the work of art. And um, I know it's not something very serious, like I say initially, but it's something we must look into. I think uh, just one person, or a group of people that could just come together and fix it because when you look at that for strangers people who are about to know much about Uburu when they come to Uburu they would ask themselves what does this answer that am or and what does it represent well does it apply or does it relate to the history of Uburu well but when it's been fixed it shows that it's a complete woman. Please, uh, I'm appealing to anybody in Uburu. If you are in Uburu, this Uburu TV, and we're coming to you, and we are appealing to you, we're asking, please uh, let someone intervene. This woman needs some medical attention, but is artistically. Let uh, a good artisan go there and um, fix it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow! Look at this video by I.K. Ikaba. Well, our show does not only intend to promote only news or other happenings around, but we also intend to promote some young, talented artists all across the globe. Well, we're starting from Uburu, then we are picking an artist from Uburu on our very first show. So um, I just uh, made a very short video of... Uh, want to taste his name is ik ikaba well i'm going to play this video uh for you to have a look
We no go fall, we we go go, we go we in you go know All of the blessings follow my yard Blessings they for my yard, oh no Like a dad, it go be you go see, you go feel her Because the blessings follow my yard Blessings follow my yard, yeah That's why I sing my girl I don't wanna waste my things no more I don't wanna go back to where I did before Me nobody stress me, no disturb me, cha 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 I see my call I don't wanna waste the bad things no more I don't wanna go back to where I did before Me nobody stress me, no disturb me, cha 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 Hey baby, yeah Hey baby, yeah Hey baby, yeah Hey baby, Look at there is something going on right now. Like, I don't know if you are online. If you're not online, well, you have to listen to this. Like, I just bumped into something right now. Uh, this about Davido. Like, Davido just made a post. No, I don't need to tell you the whole news. Just go to his page and I'm just going to send you some screenshots of what's going on. I'm going to screenshot it and I'm going to share it with you. You see? Now, does this mean anything to you? Well, it's not all about the money that he's got. All right? It's about his personality. It's about the kind of friends that he tries to keep around himself. It's about the things that he dedicates his time to do. Let me tell you, if you want to be successful, you have to get up. You have to chase that your dream. Well, um, I'm excited that we are able to start up this show. And for you to have watched to this end, it means that you love us from the beginning and we want to promise you that we're bringing you something exciting from across the globe but we started from uburu because this is uburu tv thank you for watching hey next episode we have something more exciting for you but you must remember to subscribe and hey our facebook and our instagram pages they are also up so just follow up uburu tv Thank you very much. Well, this will bring you to the end of the Rambo Show, our very first episode. Well, I don't know if we actually expressed what you expect. We may not have expressed uh, exactly what you expect, but just stay tuned. We are open. Just go to the comment section and uh, just write us what kind of content do you want us to be creating. Uber TV is our major sponsor and I remain your host, King Raimo, The Raimo Show.